The more researchers examine this recently identified interstellar visitor, the more puzzling it appears to be. Currently, it's streaking through our solar system at a remarkable velocity of approximately 61 kilometers per second in relation to the Sun, establishing it as the swiftest object in our celestial vicinity. Presently, it sits roughly 256 astronomical units away from the Sun, positioning it well within Jupiter's orbital path. The object is traveling toward perihelion, its nearest point to the Sun, which it's projected to reach in late October 2025. Remarkably, researchers have determined that this new interstellar visitor originated from the Sagittarius constellation. This is the exact same region of space from which enigmatic radio transmissions have been intercepted previously. Among the most renowned of these signals is the WOW signal, an intense and still unexplained radio emission initially detected in 1977. The intriguing circumstance is that 3I Atlas arriving from that identical direction has captured widespread attention. However, recently the object has started exhibiting some abnormal behavior and peculiar characteristics, causing certain scientists to regard it with far greater seriousness. They've indicated that we'll need to maintain close observation of it using our most advanced telescopes when it executes a near approach to Mars on October 3rd, 2025. Let me now share with you some recent discoveries about this object which have sparked the question of whether this visitor is genuinely natural, day rapidly advancing. Object the size of Manhattan is plunging toward our solar system. Comet? Asteroid? Or perhaps something entirely different? An astrophysicist maintains there's a substantial probability this is a vessel of extraterrestrial origin. When researchers recently employed the Very Large Telescope in Chile to examine 3I Atlas, they observed something profoundly unusual in its gas envelope. Typically, when cosmic debris or particles are heated by solar radiation, they emit iron and nickel simultaneously. This occurs because both elements originate in stars and supernova detonations, and they are virtually always combined in cosmic substances. If particulate matter begins converting into gas, you should detect both iron and nickel signatures in the spectral analysis. Yet in this peculiar interstellar object, researchers identified nickel gas distinctly, while iron gas was completely absent. This is extraordinarily uncommon. It prompts the inquiry, why is nickel appearing in isolation? Could something be discharging nickel selectively while somehow preventing iron from being released? That's not the sole anomaly, however. The telescope also detected cyanide within the gas plume surrounding the comet. Now, cyanide isn't uncommon in comets, but what seized scientists' interest was the distribution pattern. As the object drew nearer to the sun, the quantities of both nickel and cyanide increased dramatically and steeply. Ordinarily, comets demonstrate predictable behavior. Ice formations warm gradually. They begin to sublimate, which means they transform directly from solid to gaseous state, and the gas production escalates at a consistent rate. But with 3 I Atlas, the increase was excessively abrupt considerably faster than what the ice warming and evaporation model forecasts. This indicates something extraordinary is occurring. It doesn't conduct itself like a conventional comet merely releasing gas as it warms. Rather, the evidence suggests an alternative release mechanism, something beyond the standard narrative of ice melting under sunlight. Harvard professor Avi Loeb proposes that the unusual gas signature from 3I Atlas might not be natural whatsoever. It could indicate something constructed through technology. For instance, if some form of spacecraft or apparatus contained components fabricated primarily from nickel, but not iron, then when it approached the sun, the thermal energy could trigger only nickel to be expelled into space. That would account for why we observe nickel but detect no iron. He also emphasizes that contemporary engineering frequently employs specialized metallic coatings or robust adhesives. Under the extreme thermal conditions near the sun, these materials could discharge nickel or cyanide gases in manners that natural comets typically don't. Compounding the enigma, researchers have also discovered an abnormally high concentration of carbon dioxide emanating from the object. According to Avi Loeb, this excessive CO2 could support the theory of an industrial or engineered origin since it doesn't align with the characteristic behavior of ordinary comets. Yet that's not the only peculiar aspect of this object. Recently, researchers noticed indications that it might actually be generating its own luminosity, something entirely unanticipated for a comet-like entity. You're now claiming this is not merely an alien spacecraft, but that it's nuclear-powered. What's your reasoning for that assertion? 
First I must clarify that if the illumination we're observing from this object is reflected sunlight, its dimensions would need to exceed those of Manhattan Island. Another remarkable feature of this object is its exceptionally precise trajectory through our solar system, a path so uncommon that it distinguishes itself as highly irregular compared to typical space debris. Most interstellar objects arrive at arbitrary angles, but this one is markedly different. Its course lies almost perfectly aligned with the same flat plane in which the planets revolve, known as the ecliptic. That type of alignment is incredibly scarce, and it's not merely a coincidence. This angle would actually facilitate a flyby trajectory that positions it closer to multiple planets, almost resembling a deliberately planned route. It's comparable to how we engineered the trajectory of our Voyager spacecraft to encounter several planets for examination. The most significant point is that throughout its voyage, this object will never approach Earth closely. And interestingly, when it reaches its closest proximity to the Sun, Earth will actually be positioned on the far side of the Sun, maintaining us at a substantial distance from its path. And considering this, some researchers have proposed that we should meticulously monitor its trajectory as it reaches its nearest point to the Sun. It might exhibit unexpected behavior, such as altering its course or trajectory, which could potentially suggest some form of artificial mechanism operating within this object. This remarkable and highly precise path raises the prospect that the object isn't simply a natural comet at all, but perhaps something more analogous to a Voyager-type spacecraft intentionally engineered to resemble a comet, camouflaging itself within the cosmic environment while traversing through space. Additionally, it emerged from one of the most enigmatic regions of space, the same direction from which mysterious radio signals have been intercepted for decades. Considering the strange conduct of this object and its exceptionally rare trajectory, some researchers have suggested that if another civilization sought to explore our solar system, this is precisely how they might execute it. Infiltrate quietly while appearing to be merely another natural visitor. This concept connects to the dark forest hypothesis. It proposes that if advanced civilizations do exist, they might elect to explore silently, concealing themselves behind naturally appearing facades like comets or asteroids, and meticulously planning their movements to evade detection. Not because they harbor hostile intentions, but because they comprehend the dangers of being observed in a potentially perilous universe. Researchers are preparing to observe this new interstellar visitor when it will transit very near to Mars on October 3, 2025. NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, which carries the sophisticated high-rise camera, is anticipated to attempt capturing photographs of the object. The camera could reveal details as minute as approximately 30 kilometers per pixel, which though not sufficiently sharp to discern small features, will nonetheless provide invaluable information. This could establish definitively whether the object produces its own light or not. Researchers are enthusiastic because this might represent the first occasion an interstellar object is photographed from another planet. Other spacecraft, such as NASA's Psyche mission and ESA's JUICE probe, might also position themselves close enough in late 2025 to observe it. Indeed, this isn't the first occasion we've encountered a mysterious visitor from beyond our solar system. In 2017, we identified the first confirmed interstellar object, Oumuamua. Initially, it appeared to be simply a strangely elongated asteroid passing through. But subsequent observations disclosed odd behavior such as unexplained acceleration and no visible tail, which didn't correspond with what we understand about comets or asteroids. Despite these peculiar indicators, most of the scientific community disregarded it, presuming it must be natural. By the time some researchers, including Avi Loeb, presented the possibility that it might be something artificial or at minimum unusual, it was already too late to examine it adequately. It had accelerated past Earth and was already departing from the solar system. That moment in numerous ways represented a missed opportunity. Now with three eye atlas, we possess a second opportunity. It's displaying its own collection of unexplained behaviors. And this time, we understand better than to dismiss it. Whether it's natural or not, we've learned from history that strange interstellar visitors warrant greater attention. We don't want to reflect back again and recognize we allowed something extraordinary to escape simply because we weren't prepared to pose the proper questions. If you appreciated the video and wish to support our work, you can do so by selecting Super Thanks or by purchasing one of our excellent t-shirts from our merchandise store. Thank you immensely for watching and a tremendous thank you to our channel members for your continued support. See you in the next video.